guys how's it going welcome to the vlog today I'm counting down my top 10 summer road trip albums of all time I started out trying to like do five top five I couldn't do <laughs> I couldn't do top five that was far too few albums. You know, I know that the term album might seem a little bit antiquated at this point. Yes, they're albums, um, but they're usually thrown onto a playlist that is <laughs> shuffled. Um, but there was a time, there was a time early in my road tripping days where I had a disc man and I had some albums and mixed CDs that uh, <laughs> I would play top to bottom. All of these records I have on my playlist when I go traveling anywhere. Even if it's not just a road trip, it could be the airplane, it could be beach vacation while I'm lying on the beach tanning, you know, three songs and flip. These are my top 10 favorite summer road trip albums. Counting them down from 10 to one. Here we go. Whew. Number 10, Present by Sass Jordan. When I first started road tripping, it was because I was on summer vacation and I was joining my dad, who was playing all over Ontario, playing music all over Ontario. Sometimes when it worked out, he would take me with him. I loved it. I loved it. Um, it was like my first taste of sort of living out of a suitcase, like traveling around quite a bit for the summer. We go to the cottage. It was probably a lot shorter trips than it feels like in my mind. Like it was probably like we went for two days, <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's what it felt like. And I loved it. And I totally fell in love with traveling right then and there at that moment. And in the car, we listened to this album a lot. Number nine is Lenny Kravitz Five. I've got to get away. I wanna fly away, yeah, yeah, yeah. Epic, epic, such a travel song. <laughs> I do not leave the house without this album. Like this album means a lot to me when I'm road tripping. And it's got some really cool like, um, really cool like sort of droney vibes to it and every I mean a lot of the songs have really steady foundation let's say I don't even know what to call it um but it just it feels like the open road and that rhythm that you get into when you're driving number eight is feed the machine by Nickelback I just love a good high energy rock song when I'm driving there's something really dope about like sexy high testosterone rock and roll when I'm behind the wheel. And uh, and this album definitely does that. And then it's got some really dope sentiment in some of the quieter songs as well um, that I just get totally into and I end up like belting out. Number seven is a funny story actually. I fucking hated this band. I hated them. Like the emotional response was so intense when I heard this band. I could not handle it. I hated them. And then I was on um, a road trip with a friend of mine and we're on our way to Kingston, Ontario. He puts on this record and I'm like, really? Like, really? I, you know how I feel about this band. Like, do we really have to listen to this right now? I'm stuck with you in the car. I'm stuck with this album in the car. Have you put this on? And then I loved it. I loved it. There is just something about that the lyrics are bottomless well of incredible and I just remember being so wrapped by this album and here we are in the car playing this thing, I'm hating it and then suddenly falling in love with it and all I can do is listen. I'm so grateful I wasn't driving. <laughs> so number seven. Neon Bible by Arcade Fire. Got some really cool traveling songs, kind of get you thinking. They've got like a really cool, the pace of the record is really great. There's something about it that's just like, yes, I want to drive. Number six. So many, many, many different people, so many different look at me. Tragic Kingdom by No Doubt. No doubt about it. <laughs> 
Tragic Kingdom, I no doubt, is such a killer record and it is such an incredible part of my musical formative years. Love it, love it, love it. Top to bottom, every single song, I know every single word, and there's a lot of pieces in all of those songs that make me excited about a destination, or they get me excited about meeting new people, or they kind of open up my spirit to being receptive of wherever it is that I'm going, not to mention on every word, so I can just belt it out the whole way to my destination. Number five. Okay, so this is really challenging to choose an album. So I knew for sure it had to be a Silverchair album. Silverchair is one of my favorite bands, has been for most of my life. I love them. And I've listened to their music on every single road trip that I've ever been on. But then I was just trying to figure out, because Freak Show has wicked high energy songs on it and I love that album to pieces and when I was first starting to fall in love with road tripping I took that album with me a lot and then Neon Ballroom has that incredible depth of lyric and some really like depressive <laughs> sensation let's say emotion on the record and there's something about that tonality that really gets me daydreaming and probably not safe while I'm driving, but <laughs> if I'm in the back seat or if I am in the passenger side, I love being able to let my mind wander while I'm on a road trip. So it was really hard to pick between those two albums. I'm still like, I initially decided on Freak Show, but now after telling you all of that, I think maybe I'm swaying a little bit over to Neon Ballroom. Number four on my top 10 summer road trip albums list. It's not just a road tripping album for me, but it is present every single day on my commute. And I can't stop listening to it. It is That's the Spirit by Bring Me the Horizon. Love. It mashes those favorite things from my silver chair dilemma of like crazy depressive, super like poetic and cool lyrics and this crazy like high energy on a lot of a lot of the time rock. Number three goes to Metric Synthetica. This is a wicked driving album. Again, belting out every word to every song, but it's got that like kind of like droney vibe. I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of my favorite road tripping albums have music that's very like, I don't wanna say droney, cause they're not droney, but they're like consistent. <laughs> they feel like the open road should sound. They get me in the mood to go a long distance and just like keep on keeping on. And I mean, I wander less with the best of them, but anyways. This music somehow speaks to me. And Metric does not disappoint. This record is fabulous for driving. I love it. I love that, like, you just kind of get into a zone with it. Number two is Parachutes by Coldplay. I remember clear as day discovering this album. I was in an airport in Spain and I was on my way to Paris for a trip that I was on with my grade 12 language classes. And there were a few of us hanging out on the floor of the airport by the window sharing albums that we brought with us. And one of my fellow classmates introduced me to Parachutes. This album 100% is like in my blood every time I travel. I'm right back in France on a bus with it in my ears, looking out the window and watching the countryside go by. And so, I have some really powerful and associations with this album and I love it. So I bring it with me every time I travel. Can't leave the house without that one for sure. All right, so before we get to number one, obviously some honorable mentions because like I said in the beginning, first of all, I had trouble making this a top five. There's no way, there's no way, I, there's no way I don't bring five albums with me. I bring like 18, 20. First of all, this is not an album, this one, but I have to give a huge shout out to Country Music Radio. <laughs> there is not a road trip that I go on these days that doesn't have some foray into the radio stations of far off municipalities and usually there's a great country station. The Spice Girls, Spice Worlds, yes! Ultimate sing-along album. Every time there's a bunch of us girls in the car, we are blasting this one and we're singing at the top of our lungs. Perfect 
pick me up. Someone's tired behind the wheel. Don't worry about coffee. Just throw on the Spice Girls. And I would be completely remiss not to throw a Hanson album on this list. Hanson has been my favorite band for ever. I couldn't pick an album. Hanson was so much more to me than road tripping that it didn't feel right to pick one album and it didn't feel right to pick a number for it. I was like, I can't. So their entire discography gets an honorable mention. <laughs> number one! Woo! Hands down. I didn't even have to think about this one. Sam Roberts, We Were Born in a Flame. Something about Sam can capture perfectly traveling and wanderlust, that adventurous spirit that comes along with it, perfectly captures the Canadian conditions. So every time I'm road tripping in Canada, the, it's like the roads and the trees are screaming out Sam Roberts' lyrics at me. So it's not a road trip if I'm listening to that one. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 favorite summer road trips albums list plus honorable mentions because I can't. <laughs> I can't pick. It's, it's like potato chips. You can't have just one. I can't have just 10. That's ridiculous. I hope you like them. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what albums are on your top 10, what you cannot go on the road without listening to. See you really soon. Lots of music to come. Mm-hmm. <laughs>